Hello there and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be testing out some AliExpress makeup. I have the Mr. Cut Crease in a Second guy over here to test out. I am not convinced that I'm going to get, I mean I'll probably get a cut crease with him. Whether it's any good or not is another question entirely. I just feel like this platform bit is like way too big, you know, for my eye he would be more suited to just being like instant lipstick just like done ready to go out now where's my car keys i need to get to the office i also have two liquid lipsticks these are both by the ducks lingerie brand quite obviously ripping off the nyx lingerie liquid lipsticks uh, but i really like these shades and i don't think i've ever tried any ducks Ducks. Whenever I say ducks, I'm thinking like ducks as in like quack quack, waddling around a pond looking for bread kind of ducks. But this is DUX. DUX. We've got a metallic one, we've got a nudie brown one. So I'm going to be trying probably the metallic one on first, and then I'll be putting the brown one on at the end of the video. We also have a liquid eyeliner. This is from the Eye Magic brand. A few people actually commented uh, when I hauled this and said that it was outrageously bad and I'm a little bit concerned to be honest um, about this but I just figure well I've got it so I'm gonna just give it a go and I will be a guinea pig today and see if it is any good or not and finally we're gonna be testing out the Camuse highlighter slash um, kind of sheeny blush again this was hauled a while ago and I just haven't got around to testing it so very excited about that. Okay, so to begin, we are going to try the metallic liquid lipstick. As I said, this is by Dux. Dux, again, it's almost like in my head whenever I say that, I have an image of like a duck waddling along like, hey girl, I made you a liquid lipstick. I mixed it up over there, over by Ted. Can you see Ted? He's, he's my duck friend. And I kicked him out of the rocky area and I just produced this fabulous metallic lipstick. Uh, this is in the shade Satin Ribbon. Satin Ribbon. Do you know what? They've even ripped off the NYX names. Oh, this one's called Satin Ribbon. Ribbon. What? This one's Satin Ribbon too. They're both Satin Ribbon. Ribbon. Why do I keep saying Ribbon? As in like condom ribbing? I don't know. But anyway, yeah, these are both Satin Ribbon. Ribbon. What? I can't even say that word. I'm not surprised. This is AliExpress we're dealing with with the greatest of respect. I love AliExpress, but goddamn. There's some issues sometimes, isn't there? Let's just let's just face it. I'm gonna pop this on and then we can admire it for the rest of the video, hopefully, if it just doesn't look terrible. Oh my gosh. Oh guys, what is this? I've seen more opacity in my honey, like literally. I could have put my honey on my lips and it would have looked, oh, this is absolutely shocking. Look at that. I don't know if I can even now, every time you put it on, it's just like, can you see what I mean? Oh, this is absolute bullshit. I mean bullshit, right? No, no. The duck failed with that one. And you know what? Just to add insult to injury, it stinks. So I'm not going to be dibble dabbling with that anymore. Okay, so next we're going to try the second duck's liquid lipstick, also called Satin Ribbon. Okay, so this one is an entirely different animal. This is opaque. I love the shade of it. Okay, so the liquid lipstick has dried and I'm very pleased to tell you that I don't think the colour has like deepened up at all. Let me just check. No, I don't think, well, maybe it's gone a bit more purple, actually. A little bit more purple, but I'm not hating it. Like, I actually really, really like it. So, we've come to the point when we're going to be testing out Lil Crease. That's his new rap name. He's a SoundCloud rapper. SoundCloud what? <laughs> Here's me trying to sound cool, like, I know what SoundCloud is. SoundCloud what? Anyway, okay, so I used this palette today on my eyes. It's the TZ Cosmetics Firefly Forest palette. I absolutely love it. Again, if you're into like grungy kind of looks, this palette, 
is ooh la la fantastic okay so i've done a bit of like a smoky crease and i'm ready now to do the cut to the crease the cut to my crease cut cut crease cut 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 in the crease crease in cut crease 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 crease, crease, crease. anyway oh my gosh like literally the energy drink has kicked in guys literally so okay we've got the little bad boy little crease himself here thank you for joining us today little little crease little crease whatever your name is and okay so what do i do like i have no idea and i know i'm just going to instantly destroy my eye look but anyway i'm just going to do i just put it on the whole thing like i, I definitely should have watched a video of someone else using this and probably fecking up before filming my own video but i'm just gonna like i'm just putting on the concealer look oh sorry <laughs> it would help wouldn't it, if you could actually see what i was doing uh thus is the purpose of filming it but anyway it was like a private showing for for me only um okay can you see what i'm doing here i'm just kind of painting it on i, I don't know do i do the whole thing would that be too bold or should i just do like half the thing i've seen a video on instagram where they just did like you know half of the thing so i don't know if that's what i should be doing but okay so i feel like there we go oh my gosh i feel very excited should i do the whole thing what do you think i'm gonna do the whole thing oh my gosh in for a penny in for a pound i say right i'm doing the whole thing look here i go here she goes doing it on a mission okay she's done it okay 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 she's done it okay i mean could i say okay any more times no okay i mean really but guys okay oh i said it again oh my gosh do i really overuse the word okay 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 oh my gosh now i can't stop saying okay okay i mean really <laughs> no seriously we're gonna do this now I, I can't say okay any more times that's banned for my vocabulary why is vocabulary such a hard word to pronounce? I don't know. Oh my gosh. I'm just trying to put off the inevitable here, guys. I'm nervous. This is probably drying. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's do this. Are you ready, guys? Oh my gosh. Like, I don't know which way this goes on. Like, is there a way it goes on? I'm going to just go like this. Okay. Okay. I feel like it's way too big for my eye, guys. Okay, I just had to say that. Okay, it's on. Oh, holy vaginas. <gasps> I'm afraid to take it off. You know, like if you've ever dyed your hair and you're just not sure and you're afraid to look in the mirror after you blow dried it because you, you just don't know what, what you're going to be met with. Like, that's the feeling that I have right now. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Okay, are we ready? Oh, okay. It was worse than I ever could have imagined it would be. What the feck? What did I do wrong, guys? Like, literally, what did I do wrong? I'm going to do it again. I mean, feck it. I feel like maybe I didn't put enough of the concealer on, so I'm just going to bang a load more on. Like, what in the name of feck? I'm just going to do a thick coating, you know? But I do feel like it would have just been so much more easier to have done this by myself with a brush. I just can't help but feel that, you know? Okay, let's just do it again. I put more on. Oh, guys, I feel like this is just going to be a disaster. Are you ready? Guys. Oh, gosh. Oh, what? Now, you know, after that... I have to end up going in with a brush anyway to like perfect it like making the whole process completely worthless and why is it gone up so high since when is that a cut crease who has eyelids that big no no i don't think i can even bring this back because look it's just gone way too fecking high oh what my gosh this is like the worst thing i've ever tried in my life what did I do wrong, guys? Look at that. How is that a cut crease, like, in any world? Look at it. A cut crease is meant to finish at the fecking crease. Hence the word cut crease. 
No, look at this. This is fucking bullshit. This is bullshit creases, what this is. Okay, let me see if I can just try and correct this somehow. I don't think there's any way of correcting this. This is beyond correction stage. Look, now I'm wiping off all of my tenderly blended out eyeshadow. Oh my gosh, what a fucking vagina ache that was. Guys, that, that was bullshit. Like, I could have just done it myself with a brush, limited effort, and, and, and not just affect up my entire eye look. Oh, my vaginas. Okay, so I mean, that was a fecking disaster. I don't like these guys. Like, what did I do wrong? I'm sure I did something wrong that led to the devastatingly bad situation, but <sighs> I'm a bit deflated, guys, if I'm being honest. I was excited about it, but I would not recommend that product. I would say just do it yourself. Just do it yourself. And I feel like the only thing that I could have potentially done wrong, maybe I should have like measured my eye like and, and gone all scientific on this and like just put it up to so far but then even then it didn't give you like a proper opaque neat looking cut crease did it either way like it's just fucking awful that thing okay so i've redone my eye again even though it looks shit like i'm well aware of that i know but please just hang on in there with me because for the purpose of showing you oh everything's falling over on my makeup table but for the purpose of showing you how ineffective and all round disappointing this um doodah situation is i'm going to just do a cut crease like just by myself like the old-fashioned way using a brush and a concealer the same amount of time as it took to actually paint the concealer onto the platform and I've got such a, like a more precise job and you know I can look at myself in the eye now and be like yes I would leave the house like this as opposed to what happened with the little crease kind of situation so oh my gosh like this is so much better so yeah this, this if I can do this anybody can do this you do not need this little gadget over here he's going straight in the bin like literally okay so I'm just going to finish off my eye look and then I'll be back and we can test out the eyeliner and the I was going to say the other lipstick but I've just remembered we, we've tried all of the lipsticks now we can try the highlighter and blush okay so I've done my eyes and it took ages like way longer than I actually wanted to spend on my eyes but we're next going to move on to the liquid eyeliner this is by the eye magic brand and it's just called the liquid eyeliner i mean yes it's in the shade boot black boot black i mean i, I have some black boots but i also have some pink blue boot boots <laughs> anyway i've got boots of different colors is what i'm trying to say by the way before i start this if you've not watched my channel before and you're not familiar with me i'm terrible at doing any kind of wing eyeliner so this isn't like some expert like Nikki Tutorials doing a winged eyeliner. This is like a monkey doing winged eyeliner, like literally. So just setting your expectations at the right point, you know. Okay, let's do this. Oh my gosh. Okay, again, I just know I'm going to feck up my whole eye look, but oh well. This liquid eyeliner does not stand a chance over the glitter, so I might just do a wing and just leave it at that because that's the kind of half assed girl I am. By the way, this isn't like a you know, flexible brush, it's like a sponge, like a rock solid, hard, rigid sponge. I mean, really. What the fuck is that I've just done? What is that? Oh my gosh. Oh, actually, it is. Like, it's fighting through the glitter. 
is fighting through the glitter and it's not done so badly. Oh my gosh, I kind of like this. As I said though, it is like rigid, this thing. It's it's definitely not like, you know, a brush. Oh my gosh, I like it though. Like it's super, super easy to use. You know, it's easy to get, get it where you want it to go because it's not like a brush just wiggle, wiggle waggling all over the show. Oh my gosh, revelation. Oh guys, I like this. I think it's actually really, really bombed to the diggity to the bottom. Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh. I don't know if this is waterproof or not, uh, but I will confirm downstairs. I'm also going to be, oh, I've got my hair stuck in my fingernail. I mean, really, what's going on today? But I will update you in the comments and let you know how it wore because I am going to be wearing this makeup for a little while now. So what's gone wrong? Like, I feel like, oh, yeah, I've got lots of eyeshadow all on my face. Oh my gosh, like, why, why didn't I brush that off? What's my brush even doing over there? Did you see me throw my brush on my bed? Why, why would I have done such a thing? By the way, still haven't purchased a duvet cover. Like, I don't know why. I, I'm spending all my money on makeup and not a duvet cover. I mean, really. Um, but anyway, guys, okay, okay. Right, so let's move on to the highlighter and blush portion of the video. So this is by the brand Camuse, looking very similar to the NARS um, kind of blushes and highlighters. This is in the shade, uh, it just says 4066. Four, uh, yeah, it doesn't have, seem to have a name, but I'm sure it was called Luster. I'll confirm downstairs, but anyway. Okay, so to begin, I'm just gonna wet my face with a little spritz of Fix Plus. I always do this now whenever I'm applying kind of a highlighter or a sheeny blush because I just feel like it just adds an extra like je ne sais quoi, you know, to the glow. So I'm just gonna spritz, spritz, spritz. Oh my gosh, hell yes. It's at this point, I really am hoping that the eyeliner is waterproof because if it's not, it's going to be dripping down my face in a second. So, I mean, I feel like I'm going to use, I'm going to use it as a blush. I mean, what the hell? Why am I being scared and afraid of using this as a blush? I don't know. But this is what it looks like. I'll just do a little swatch. It's a beautiful kind of peachy, champagne-y kind of shade. It feels super smooth, texture, and, okay, let's do this. Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh yes, bitch. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. <gasps> oh my gosh, guys, I love it. Do I think I applied a little bit too much? Yes, definitely. But oh my gosh, you cannot be hating the glow. Look, look at this. <sighs> I mean, guys, I love it. Definitely. It's added like a bit of like a bronze look to my face, but at the same time, a glow. I feel like I've applied way too much, so I'm just going to apply like just as much on this side so that it can be matching the other side and it might not look quite so bad, but do I not look like I've just spent, oh, just dropped the fucking thing, do I not look like I've just spent 10 hours lazing on a beach in Santa Monica, do I not, do I not, look at this, <sighs> guys I love it, I think it's absolutely fantastic i would definitely use this as a blush i know that you're probably watching this thinking but hold back on when i think that's a little bit too deep for your fair skin tone but i say feck that i love it i just think it's added such a bronzed look <gasps> guys i love it this is definitely made up for the uh creaser well this isn't a creaser for me to call this a creaser is like me calling a knife a tin opener it's not a fecking tin opener. It could open a tin, but it's going to do a fecking messy job of it. Do you know what I mean? Okay, so that kind of brings us to the end of the video. I hope that you've enjoyed this. I hope that you've had fun along the way. I think that I really like the eyeliner. It seems to have survived the Fix Plus spritz. I love the blush. I think it's sensational. Um, it, I'll just rescue it from the floor where I uh, dropped it. But the formula is exquisite. It's very finely milled. It just goes on like a dream. It's got a beautiful golden kind of peachy glow. And I definitely think if you've got like olive skin or deep skin, medium skin, basically any skin deeper than mine, I think you would adore this. And I think it would look sensational. 
if you're fair skinned like myself but you don't mind looking a little bit crazy people looking at you thinking oh my gosh that's a little bit too much bronzy glow then do you like this too you know i just like this i'm loving it i'm unapologetic i love it that's what makeup should be about guys do you not agree makeup should be things that just make you happy and lift your spirits up give you a spring in your step and just make you feel like fantastic so this makes me feel fantastic so i'm just gonna rock it but anyway guys i have just realized i've not done my mascara i'll be back in a sec by the way just a side note so i'm applying these ardell wispy eyelashes and they're crap like literally can you even tell which eyelash has the falsy on it i mean i think yeah you can kind of tell this one but oh my gosh like where's the flare where's the dramatic floppy lashes it's just not there so disappointed but too lazy to go to the bathroom to get the ones that i actually like which by the way cost a pound from miss a these cost like four pounds and it's just it's nowhere near as good check out this tiny little duo eyelash glue as well oh shania i put way too much glue on oh. <laughs> this is me trying to multitask mm -mm -mm. doesn't work oh my gosh look it's all <laughs> Looks like uh, someone came on my eyelash. <laughs> oh, Shania Twain. For feck's sake, is it because I insulted you? That's why you, you're playing these tricks on me. I've got glue all over my fingers, which is going to horrifically get in the way of me applying these. Oh, holy vaginas and balls. <sighs> okay, so this is the finished look. I know, I know. The falsy on this side, I don't know what he's doing right now. He's just living his best life up on my eye, just fecking around. Oh my gosh, like I don't like these Ardell eyelashes. I've only tried one pair so far, but I'm going to just say I don't like any of them at all. I much prefer my Miss A, like a pound eyelashes but anyway guys i really appreciate you watching the video i hope you've enjoyed it by the way liquid lipstick feels so comfortable i forgot i've even got it on it is definitely like darkening can you see that but i'm not hating it guys anyway i'm gonna go thank you for watching the video and i'll be back soon with more all i can see is eyelash like here all i can see is eyelash like literally something gone wrong but anyway guys see you in the next one